Lucas, these people are literally walking around outside with masks Man. on. And apparently the new guidelines say June 15th, you don't have to wear a mask. But people are still cycling in D.C. with a mask on. So apparently if you follow the guidelines, you, you ain't, ain't black. black. You ain't black. <laughs> All right, so... The Daily Caller went out into the streets of Washington, D.C. and check this out, man. You got vaccinated people still wearing masks outside. Outdoor. Okay, okay. Why are you still wearing a mask and are you vaccinated? Yeah, so thank you for that question. I am vaccinated <laughs> um, and I am a bit skeptical of their decision. Because I feel like the coronavirus doesn't go away after the CDC says it's okay. I mean, I thought it was a little premature, the CDC guideline. It's a little concerning to see that a lot of people outside are not wearing it. I don't want to get other people like to think that it's okay not to wear their mask if they aren't vaccinated. I don't want it to make it look normal that you cannot wear your mask. I feel like people still should Isn't wear their mask. Normal to I... not wear mask. Dude, that is so insane. There is so they want to much. Normalize wearing masks. He said, "I don't want people to think it's normal." Okay, to so not wear a mask. so so please, someone correct me because I've been trying to follow this as much as I possibly can. And yeah. for people that do research, you know, sometimes you can't research everything. Sometimes you don't have time to do research. But yeah. I'm led to believe, and I'm pretty damn well sure, there was no directive to wear masks outside. Of buildings even in i LA remember game. during the when everything well, no, happened we had that we had that in la the only problem it was pseudoscientific so it was right. very they controversial. said they, when when fauci went back and forth of wear masks don't wear masks right. wear masks don't wear masks he said specifically on the whole cdc guideline right. if you are indoors and you cannot stay six feet away from somebody then you should wear a mask, wear a mask. i've right. never heard anybody say and remember that was wear a mask outside he first said you don't even need to wear a mask he said if it makes you feel better that's what it's for yeah he even then said he came back he even said that wearing himself. a mask does not give you uh do the same security it gives you security in which like oh you feel like you're protected exactly. but he said himself that it does not give you the same uh protections that you think it does now but what I thought why? Was why are you still wearing video is all of these people canvassed are in dc the capital yeah, I, that, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Dude, well, let's just point. go over these again really fast. Because, like, do you get my point it, though? Yeah. Who, yeah. who said wear a mask outside? Well, I, I really want to know where this came from. No, because there was I didn't a bunch hear. of mandates. In dodging. the early days, there was a lot of municipalities saying yeah. you got to wear a mask outside. Like, honestly, except for Christy Nome up in South Dakota. People were swimming with You masks. know? Yeah. No, but that <laughs> was just mental that. illness. Don't, no one, no <laughs> CDC tells somebody to <laughs> swim with a mask No, on. but this still <laughs> is mental illness, bro. Like, yeah. look at this. But, this is... Nobody... Uh, Jews don't wear yarmulke, yarmulkes with as much religious zeal as, yeah. and fear That's of true. God... As a, a fully vaccinated person Wearing, who got vaccinated for a disease point. that has a 99.9% .9 survival rate, yeah. uh, like I'll, I'll tell you, amongst Mormons, 99.9% .9 of them don't avoid coffee, tea, alcohol, and tobacco like Thank they're supposed you. to. Like, Thank I mean, you, you know, you. No, that's a good point, though. It's literally it, a religion. It's, religion. it's yeah. a religion for people that have already had the vaccine and they're still wearing it. So, this is my point. Does anybody know when? We were supposed to wear masks outside. Please, please, please elaborate. I really well, want to know I've when that when that occurred. Okay, that when anyway. scientifically or when we were supposed to wear yeah, according to CD, legally. There's no legal well, aspect legal. on any yeah, of these no, masks. No, no, yeah, there was tons according of legal. According to Quack Okay, Fauci. so there was mandates. Yeah, the mandates. And, and mandates mm -hmm. are laws. They're recommendations. Yeah, yeah. but see what Worded happened is differently. if I didn't stand in line with the face diaper in Home Depot, the face then what happened is indoor. Home Depot wouldn't let me in. And that and is policy because oh, yeah. corporations Yeah, but what am I going to do, get in a fist fight with no, like the security guard no, just you, to go buy a piece of lumber? But, but that's like, what I'm saying, though. I'm, we're talking about the CDC right now. Right. When, when did the CDC when did say Fauci recommend America to wear masks outside? Out, outside, outside, outside. Keyword because outside. We remember we saw people swimming alone in the ocean. But that's not CDC direction. Yeah. That's just mental illness. <laughs> but see, they're talking about CDC. So can we play a little bit more? Because I like what they said. They said, oh, just because the CDC, when they did believe the CDC, when they mm -hmm. said that, oh, you need to wear a mask, you need to get vaccinated. Well, they believed them then. Yeah. But yeah. now, now that they're saying noticed? take off the mask, yeah. now all of a sudden they don't believe in the CDC and one thing anymore. that no one is talking about, right, is yeah. why is the vaccine free where insulin is not free, right? Mm, that's a good um, point because they want you to take it. Exactly. What's the medicine, Cardin, that you said that they had you on for uh, cancer? Oh, yeah. I take. That's uh, not free, is it? No. Do no. freaking like 12 grand a month. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. So why is the vaccine free? And then have you noticed that there's no actually um, Well, because the government's paying for all of this crap, yeah. dude. They're paying for it well, with those $3 trillion, you know, GDP of a banana republic 
Uh, yeah. Printing it, money for well, inflation. Money? Insulin, for then. inflation in the future. Why yeah, won't exactly. they make the um, all the other medicines free? Yeah. Well, because it's an agenda. It's a political agenda. We all know what they're trying to do. But see, the, and she said some. I, who was it? It was a guy and a girl in this video, if you can pull it up, that she they literally say, well, I don't trust that the CDC is too premature in letting well, yeah, the mask like, like, go. Yeah, that's literally what I was going to say. Yeah. Let's go over all of this uh, one by one. Before we do, though, I'm pulling up this thing. Like this guy, I know he's kind of a firebrand on Instagram, but he did point out something crazy today. Look at the date on this article. That's written funny. by Fauci back oh, when yeah, he was our, a no-name. Yeah. It said, he no doubt Trump will this. face a surprise infectious disease outbreak on January 11th 2017. of 2017. Yes, this, wow. because oh, this was yeah. already planned. They already <laughs> wow. knew. I didn't know about that you didn't article. Know about that? He said. Uh, okay, no, so. Yeah, look at that, dude. Look so, at that. So this is, this is from a speech. He actually made yeah. the speech, and it's, a, it's, uh-huh. it's, it's actual on their wow. YouTube. Um, he basically said that Trump will have, um, um, what do you call it? Um, like a SARS 2.0. Well, well anyway, but he did <laughs> yeah. say that he's going to have trouble, right, in yeah. the f- near future. And we're in fear that there will be a serious outbreak that will that will test Trump and his administration. Yeah. He literally yeah. said it. He literally wow. said it. And the same dude that yeah. funded a uh, gang of research that he got caught lying, which we should, I should pull it up. Function gain of function, research. yes. Yeah. He, caught, yeah. he got caught lying on the floor yeah. saying that he didn't. So, when so, he yeah. did. And it was here in, I think where, I forget where it was, but in the United yeah. States, I think it was like South Dakota or something like that. Yeah. I don't remember where. So and then it got transferred to Wuhan. But Sorry. the main difference, though, the main difference between this infectious disease that President Trump inherited, quote unquote, and the other ones like SARS and the swine flu is that the economy was not shut down. Right. Yeah. Religion oh, yeah. was not uh Tested. Prohibited, uh, well, yeah. right? Prohibited. Freedom of assembly. Freedom of speech. Yeah. Freedom and of speech. assembly was not uh, uh, on attack. Our children wasn't under attack. This is something. I host another show. Global. I host another show where, gosh, I'm almost afraid to say it because I don't want to happen to us. Uh-oh. But he literally had a video removed uh. because he said, "I think there is a moral claim to be made that you should not." Wear a shall we call it face diaper, a face, face condom shield. outside, face condom, you know, and it got just totally suspected. struck down for as medical disinformation. Yeah. And I'm like, the sad thing is, that's actually not, the disinformation is what these people are doing right here yeah. in front of us. And let's just go over these opinions really fast because yeah, I hear what this. we have to remember is these are the Rachel Maddows of the world that think we are enemies. Yeah. for following the science and not watching these things. So let's just go over each they, one of these opinions super fast. They say that, that we're stopping herd immunity, that we're yeah. prohibiting the herd immunity. So here we go. Why? Why are you still wearing a mask and are you vaccinated? Yeah, so thank you for that question. I am. Okay, so first off, BS. What do you mean thank, thank you, you for, for that? that yeah, he's so glad yeah. he's so that glad she that, stopped that, him. That he can share to the world why you should still wear a mask and be vaccinated. Thank like, you. I've been waiting all, yeah. all thank you year for this opportunity. with this entire pandemic for one chance that I would be on camera with the microphone to yeah. say my opinion. Here we Although go. Although it's probably the first time he's talked to a pretty girl in a long time. Uh, so, probably anyway, so. Oh, snap. Anyway. I mean, why go. does he wear a hat and sunglasses? I mean, are you yeah. covering your identity? Incognito. What's going on? Like, he loves masks because he's get to cover his identity go ahead roll it vaccinated um and i am a bit skeptical of their decision because I feel like- so but look at that he skeptical says of our decision my choice my body but right? why did you get the vaccine then if you're skeptical of the decision wait 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 if you're skeptical of the decision to not wear a mask while being vaccinated from the cdc guidelines and dr fauci who you religiously swore yeah. by when you got worship, the vaccine worship why did you get the vaccine there were two people in 30 that seconds that doesn't even make sense if you look at this video we started at timestamp <laughs> zero minutes 18 seconds in uh-huh. and we we started at 18 seconds we ended at 48 seconds we did exactly 30 seconds of pre-roll of this there were two people that said yeah i was a little bit skeptical of the cdc Okay, as much as I disagree with the CDC, I do recognize it takes eight years to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Thousands of hours of interning, residency, testing, and and final completion. Yet, here we have a beta, like just these two betas on bikes... Literally. In Washington D.C., but because they, they watched to, MSNBC at night, right? Yeah. They get to uh, now they're they get skeptical. To pontificate on us about yeah. the skepticism of CDC guidelines that we've been saying from the beginning. Yeah. So right. so anyway, uh, Just, skeptical person number one of the CDC. <laughs> now, oh by the way, skeptical person of the CDC kind of sounds a lot like science denier. Exactly. But, yeah, I thought you said believe in the science. 
Yeah, exactly. But but see, he's concerned about us not having a vaccine, but yet he's screaming, my body, my choice. Okay, right. now, before we go any further, it really saddens me that this guy yeah. um, uh, is is a science denier, too, because that's a really cool suit. It is a cool suit. You know, suit. that guy looks but like he's pretty cool. He's, he's probably <laughs> yeah. a Biden supporter. Let's, let's, yeah. let's watch it. Let's watch okay, it. Okay, so Enough let's see what number two it. says. Like the coronavirus doesn't go away after the CDC says it's okay. I mean, I... So here it is. He's literally saying, oh, well, the coronavirus doesn't go away after the CDC says it's okay. That's literally sounds like a teacher saying like, oh, well, the hurt and the pain doesn't go away after you apologize. You know what I'm saying? It's being converted into a yeah. kind of spiritual and social argument and not a scientific The flu doesn't one. go away after you're vaccinated, right? No. So the flu is still here. Yeah. So then life, why... life's supposed to stop for the flu or for anything else. Yeah. Go ahead and roll the next one. Yep. I thought it was a little premature, the CDC guideline. It's a little concerned. Okay, so those are the same people. Little... I want to uh -huh. say this. Sure. I want to say this. I want to say this. These are the same people that argue with us that they want to argue that, oh, because of the CDC, what they said, mm -hmm. and you're disagreeing with the CDC, that you are a science denier. Yeah. But yet now... They want to argue and say, well, I disagree with the CDC because it's too early when we're saying yeah. you don't need to close down the whole goddamn country. And yeah. her specific over this. reason was that she felt that the guidelines were premature. You don't think the vaccine was premature? No, you no. You don't think locking down oh, the yeah. country and no, no, you don't think was that like premature? It was excessive. Like, if we want to start saying, oh, it's yeah. premature to open up early, well, we were saying it was excessive to close to, down to the country. In the first place. place. Exactly. Good. Exactly. 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 So, so how is it premature to open when we shouldn't have never been locked but, down but, to begin but, but she thinks that she knows more than the CDC. Didn't they tell us that why do you guys think well, you know more than Karen the CDC? on a bike, and Karens know everything. Oh, that's true. Thank you Don't for that. You know? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see what she has to say. Let's see what she has to say. Here we go. Actually, no, no. She was done. It's the next guy. CDC guidelines. It's a little concerning to see that a lot of people outside are not wearing it. I don't want to get other people Keep like to think that it's okay not to wear their mask if they aren't vaccinated. I don't want it to make mm. it look normal that you cannot but, wear your mask. Oh, 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 oh. So it's not okay for us to live as free Americans without masks. Mm -hmm. It is not okay. Think about that. Yeah. It is not okay as a free American to walk around the streets of, of America without a face diaper. Right. He doesn't want us to have the notion or the the, the, the actual when normalcy it's been of normal, normal. For the first 99% of his life. Yeah, and all of a sudden he don't want to go back. To, he don't want to go back. He, he's cool with right. this 1% in time. Exactly. And he wants to string that on to 2 maybe 3%, maybe 5%, but he, you damn be sure well, his life. That. It's obvious that a very large part of these people's identities – has been wrapped up in the virtue signaling of the mask. We are the good guys. And now that we don't have something that we can wear in order to show that we are more virtuous than you, yeah. we kind we of keep miss it. it. We got to keep yeah. it. And it, it's literally, this is why religion and Christianity in our society is so important because without the principal identity that Christianity gives you, that your first title on this earth mm -hmm. is not that of a black conservative or as you know, um, a, a white soccer player or as even skin color, X, African-American, African -American, Inuit-American, mm -hmm. whatever. Russian. The, the, it, yeah, your first identity is that of a child of God. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. And that your secondary identity is that of a father, a son, a mother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Right. And then, and then where you stand in terms of X, Y, or Z policy, how much money you have in your bank account, uh, how many follows you, followers you have on Twitter, all of that is secondary, yeah. tertiary to who you are as an unconditionally loved child of God. Whereas now, without religion, well, who am I? How do I show I'm a good person if I don't have an unqualified, unconditional value? Well, the way I show that I'm I, I, I'm benevolent is by oh. face masking. Face masking, right? Like be, it's literally become religious garb because in a secular because, society yeah. that's be, gotten rid be, of be, religion. Be, because the gods we call government told them to. Yeah. yeah. So we shall worship those gods that told us that you need to stay at home, you need to shelter in place, you don't need to yeah. open your business, and never mind the economy. Yeah. It is about wearing a mask outside. And again, I keep going back to this, and I don't think we were understanding this. Who said we need to wear a mask outside? Yeah, there, there, there was never actually a law People passed. It, they were yeah. all mandates. No, right. no, I don't even know if there's a mandate that said outside. I remember it. They said inside. There was in L.A. County. Yeah, there even was outside. Oh yeah, there was people like, jogging in, with this crap on. County. No, they, they said yeah. outside. 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 Once when I was at at the one of the Beverly Hills, I, rallies, I don't know. One of the peace officers, quote unquote, you know, the street peace officers, came up to me and told ain't me nobody in order to stand on the street in Beverly happened. Hills, I had to put a mask on. Nah, ain't nobody make me and wear a mask outside. I just looked at him and ignored. Outside. Him. You all know what's interesting. 
interesting. A lot of times, outside from my experiences, when I go to a store, right, a supermarket, outside, I'll put on the mask yeah. just to appease them, right? Yeah, but I'll because it's it not here. worth even messing with. Yeah, them, I'll dude. keep it here. No, I, right I just, here. And I just picked and up my if they grocery. They say something yeah. to me, they'll say, "Oh, you have to like put your mask up." I'll just look at them and nod and just keep walking. Nine times out of ten, they won't say anything else. They just have to say it. So yeah, so they cover their ass. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you don't have to even listen to no, it. No, no, you know what I've done? <laughs> I've literally picked up my groceries off the pickup. I ordered online, I pick them up. Mm-hmm. I found my uh, grocery store Winko that don't bother me. Uh, if I can't get it from Winko, I order it online, I pick it up. Yeah. I found a liquor store, a 7-Eleven, and a convenience store. All do not enforce it. They don't not care. It, yeah. I just shop with them. That's what yeah. I do. Or yeah. use Instacart. That's what I do. Well, and then this is, this is the part that's Postmates. so worrisome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Th- this is the part that's so worrisome. <laughs> is that not only has this become part of the identity of these people, okay, and, mm-hmm. and there's always been virtue signaling, and we know all about the virtue signaling. Ain't hey, nobody so going to mask so mandate me to wear a mask outside. Well, yeah, you say that's that until you have a cop standing in front of you saying, put it on. No. Or I arrest you. Okay, then I'll get arrested. Yeah, I'll show also the hypocrisy yeah. of it. Uh, okay, cool. Mask yeah, outside. Most people aren't. <laughs> most people ma- don't no, mess but, Okay, but the argument yeah. is like mask inside. It's like, okay, uh, even though I'm, I I literally don't do that. Do I try my best not to. you how inconvenient Maybe. it is to get arrested? Maybe like a job. Yeah. Yeah. It's so <laughs> inconvenient. It is. <laughs> you it is. It really jail. is. You've got it really stuff is. to do. You didn't get a chance to contact nobody. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But come on, man. I'm with Lucas. Me and Lucas are vibing in the past couple of shows your, man your, well, your your car is gonna get towed from wherever you're parked at <laughs> then you, you have to go getting arrested is just too much but wearing, wearing a mask outside, outside. <laughs> yeah outside that's though. an inconvenience too but <laughs> yeah so outside, so though. anyway th- this is what worries me is this whole time we've been watching this i feel like i'm listening to people explain why they don't go swimming after they eat oh it it's just it, it's it's complete and total pseudoscience based in suppositions that have the same credibility but have you as noticed, old wives tales but have you noticed from i've noticed that none of those people said anything that actually spoke to a biological sense yeah no one talked about the co2 no one talked about how your lungs are supposed to breathe you're not even supposed to breathe out of your mouth how miscarriages your nose are up is meant for the, breathing yeah miscarriages right? are up depression is up and all you. this has to no do one's with the restriction talking about of oxygen they're only yeah. talking about the cdc guidelines yeah so anyway and this is what makes it worse is i'm just going to switch right into this one governor newsom is out now sending vax checkers Uh-oh. door to door you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to treat them just like Jehovah Witnesses. Oh. <laughs> you know? We're not home. And kindly. Don't even answer the door. You turn the lights off, <laughs> turn the TV off, and just sit in silence <laughs> until they go away. <laughs> because you don't even want to engage. If you try to even engage in a Jehovah, they will hold it. Wait, wait, wait. But do you know Jesus loves you? And you're like, yes, yeah, you're I trying know. To close door. You're trying to close the door? Yes, I know, but I'm busy. Wait, wait, wait. You're right. You're, <laughs> I you're know really what you're talking about. Engage. It's like, bro, I got to go. I got <laughs> eggs cooking on the stove. My house is on fire. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus Love you. Exactly. Oh, actually, you laugh about that, but I was a door-to-door salesman for really? Oregon Pest Control for years, Uh-oh. and I started talking to this lady who had big-time problems um, with ants, and all of a sudden, as I'm talking with her, there's this glow behind uh. her. And she had left something on the stove and had gotten so engrossed in the conversation with me Uh-oh. that a fire had burst Literally out in her kitchen. Out. And she had to let me in to pour to baking pour. soda oh. on the grease fire <laughs> in her kitchen. It was brutal. And this was the height of irony. When her husband came home, guess what he worked in? Guess what his profession was? Firefighter. Fire, disaster, and flood cleanup. Oh. Clean up. Yeah. Oh, oh, very specific. Yeah. It, was, oh my God. it was literally his own house wow. that had a grease no, fire. See? And he's the dude that's usually cleaning up houses that have smoke damage so and stuff like that. the moral of the story is don't answer the door for these. <laughs> well, I mean, this I, is... I, I mean, really this, worry about this. this like, is, when we use the term medical tyranny, you have to remember, the black community got mm-hmm. absolutely the biggest kick in the teeth on earth when LBJ started sending out people door to door in order to make sure that they qualified for state benefits. Mm. So in the name of be- benevolence, just like Ronald yeah. Reagan said, the most terrifying thing you'll ever hear in your life is we're from the government is, and we're here to help you. Yeah, we're and from Kamala the government. And, the, and, too, and, no, and, and they're literally doing it right now. They're yeah, literally and, doing and it right they're now. literally doing it right Let now. I mean, you're you. seeing the news reports. Yeah. Don't help yourself. Let us help you. Well, and the thing is, there's this wild racism to it, too. And all the news reports, it's always like, oh, yep, you're about the to get, state yep. in its benevolence is sending out bilingual people to the minority communities because 
we know that like if you don't want to take the vaccine, it's probably because you're not very smart because you can't yeah. like, and you know, somehow you will feel more read. comfortable if, if someone speaks your language. Yeah, now because we know that white people scare you because we're right. so big and we're so exactly. superior and we're so much Green taller and you must be terrified <laughs> in a diverse society exactly. and English, you know, no, there hasn't been immigrants coming to America and learning English for literally it's, yeah. centuries. So, so, so they're always bragging about how they're getting people to go in poor communities it's with this oppressive. wild insinuation that poor communities also mean what uh black yeah exactly literally <laughs> anytime like inner city is code for <laughs> black yeah it is Low inner city is code for black, is code yes, it is. For yes, black. It is. according a, to it's joe very biden nice way. it's very nice uh, way of saying it. being poor is a uh, uh, yeah remember he said rich kids are just as bright and smart yeah. as a uh, <laughs> white well, kids. listen if you can't choose if you can't use computers yeah you're black if it's inner cities you're black yeah. Dude, and, and well, here's the other thing. It's like, I would feel so stupid. I worked for the census. I was a door to door. I used to do oh, the no. I, did the yeah. census. I hate you people. Census. I hate you people. I did the 2010 I hate, I hate you people. Yeah. I well, dude, people. I was a missionary for two years in Argentina. All right. Mm -hmm. I've gone on splits with dudes in downtown. Yeah. Um, you did done... a split with a dude? No, splits. No, not the splits. The, the like Splits, like splitting the. Splits. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> No, not like okay. that. Okay. Splits is where you go out with a, a, a pair and then a volunteer goes with each one. So there's two right. of them. Mm -hmm. So there's four. It's called splits. So anyway, um, I did volunteer work in other door-to-door -door efforts. And let me tell you, like, I know what works and doesn't work in mm -hmm. all kinds of diverse communities, whether they're yeah. linguistically diverse, ethnically diverse, yep. or financially diverse. Okay. And the truth is, if I were in a predominantly black community going door-to-door -door and saying, hey, People whose grandparents remember the syphilis uh, studies right. done where they placeboed people who thought they were getting life changing medication, yeah. but were really just getting saline tabs. Um, can you trust the government this time? This time. What yeah. about now? <laughs> can you give it a go? Yeah, with, an, know? with an FDA unapproved. Yeah. But <laughs> you know what's interesting? I did the 2010 census too, right? And. Yeah. My door to door experience was interesting because I canvassed the North Hollywood area. So it was pretty diverse, right? Okay, cool. And what was interesting is I actually did really good with the door to door contact because there was this thing, a skepticism of even opening the door for census people. Yeah. You know, like some people were yeah. getting robbed and all of that stuff. So, mm -hmm. right but on. I had a, a actual high success rate and they recruited me. They, well, just because you're so handsome and charismatic, dog. I thank you. That's what it was. But let me tell you, it, it was, was the Gucci, dog. It was this one time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. They Let saw your you know, Louboutin shoes and like, well, like, hot damn, must be, if he can afford those, he do something But, but right. no, no, I, actually, it was kind of the opposite. At first, their first response was be like, I don't trust you, right? Yeah. And I even had this one old guy. He was an old white guy, and he just, he almost fought me. He attacked me, literally, and was like, get the f*** off of my property. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, sounds, then, like, that sounds like me. I just stood there and talked to him. I was like, you know, sir, I'm here to do a job. You can, yeah, yeah. And then he actually saw who I really was, and then he apologized. Uh -huh. Gave me the information I needed, <laughs> and I got out of there. Gave you the information that you needed. He gave me the information that I needed. I took that job seriously, actually. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, yeah. speak. Uh, uh, speaking of people, um, I don't know, uh, being chased off of lawns yeah. by racist people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's man. Uh, you wanted to bring this up, brother. Man, so Joe Biden now. There's a thing, right? These asylum cities. I've always been against asylum cities. But why? Wait, is you it... mean not asylum cities, sanctuary cities? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Thank I, you. Think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think about sanctuary cities. I've been watching too much. asylum in sanctuary <laughs> cities. I've been watching yeah. too much um, <laughs> American Horror Story. Hey, 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 you just slammed this desk like you were Hulk himself. Oh, is his spirit here? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. He's he, busy on he's something else. Spirit, but yeah, though, he's here in spirit through the Hulk you, came huh? Through me. Uh, Dang, Hulk. But no, thanks, thanks for that card. Not the asylum, the sanctuary cities. Uh huh. But here you have the Biden administration was caught uh, secretly flying migrant children, undocumented, illegal children, into red states. Specifically, this one was in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And now, mind you, too, I think this is really important because I didn't know this until I flew into. Georgia, I flew into uh, Atlanta and took a road trip to Chattanooga. It's literally an hour and a half away. Now, do you all wow. know that Atlanta is one of the headquarters for child sex trafficking? Mm. Donald Trump found 34 Ugh. something children hidden in the basement. Do you think it's a coincidence that they're flying unaccompanied illegal migrant children into Chattanooga, which That's is a, a red wow. state, and it's only an hour and a half a drive away from Atlanta? Wow. And they're doing this like under the 
like smoke and mirrors. It's literally wow. at like three o'clock in the morning. Plane full of children are just getting released into these states. I want to know where they're going. Well, and then here's the frustrating part is that it's like, you know, <laughs> he's, he's dumbfounded. How much money, <laughs> he's dumbfounded. No, I, I just think of how much money we don't have mm -hmm. for music, art, and for healthy food programs in our schools. In, it, it just yes. in downtown Los Angeles, in, in communities that have been blighted since the fifties, mm -hmm. that 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 still have budgets based upon property taxes, which are a third, the surrounding mm -hmm. suburbs, which are which are wealthy. Think how many unsolved problems we have. Thank but you. man, we can quarantine somebody who's a non citizen, a non -citizen. And, and feed them and then fly them and then house them and and they want to talk about the cage situation, which they created. Yeah. Do you know it's children in Chicago that sleep during the winter on, uh, like, just mats and like the floor? They don't even have mattresses to sleep in. Yeah, and, and dude, my so, mom was my mom was a substitute teacher and um, an actual uh, full blown uh, full time teacher in LA Unified School District. And she said, like, one of the most frustrating things that would happen when illegal immigration got those first big waves mm -hmm. where they first really started calling you racist if you wanted to, you know, yeah, fight this in the 90s wow. was she would walk in and there'd be 14 kids on the roster, but there'd be like 35 bodies in the seats. Wow. Because... Wow. Like, you know, as Americans, we believe in educating everybody. Yes. You know, but it's like okay, here's the 14 people that actually had social security numbers and birth certificates and so on Thank and so you. forth. Yeah, there's a mandate that I can only have 28 kids in my class, but uh, we're overflowing. And how can you enforce the No Child Left Behind with yeah. that situation? So, how, how do you right. enforce No Child Left Behind Act when you can't even register all the children? Thank you. You know, and, and it's like there there is an order to this. There is an infrastructure that needs to be and maintained. you don't even have enough teachers for these classrooms. Yeah, and then now, surreptitiously... Under the nose of people that have said, look, we're not a sanctuary state. We enforce the law. Yeah. Now you've got the I federal government saying, oh, no, you don't, because we're straight going to bust them in. And by the way, we ain't taking care of them for you. Yeah. Low key card. I, I just thought about that was a Freudian slip, the what? asylum cities, because they are. Fuck, it feels like they're an asylum, a mental asylum. Oh. Oh. Cities. <laughs> so they are an asylum. You're, 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 you're talking it, it about it feels, the feels like leadership, Gotham city not the immigrants. It's like Gotham City. No, yeah, he the, thinks the, it's the Gotham City right now. Yes, the leadership, not the yeah, He's thinking it's, it's Gotham City right now. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm literally gonna say this. Okay, so this, this, we all know that the Biden administration advertised everybody to come through. No wall. You know, we we don't like walls. Yada yada yada. Now, they. I mean, in an essence, you can kind of argue that the federal government, or most importantly, the Biden administration, is helping funneling yes. illegal immigrants. Illegal and code word illegal and they're facilitating consequently. It. Child sex trafficking as well. Possibly the fact that we, we don't know about that yet. Important. No, this is a fact. Biden released the uh, the order that Trump had that would say any adult that came across the border with a minor they had to go through an FBI background check. Mm. He released that, so any adult can just show mm. up with the child and say, "I'm their guardian," so, so, and you get welcomed. So, in. so not only is the Biden administration These were child sex funneling, funneling, <laughs> help funneling illegal immigrants, right? It's he's, not happening. He's aiding it, and abetting. Yeah. And so, child sex traffickers, and possibly also sex to trafficking. be able yes. to get these children here, and that's because a, they aren't keeping track of the children if they aren't even doing FBI checks on their yeah. quote unquote and, guardians. And and we all know that you know legal immigrants, nine out of ten, they're going to vote Democrat. Why is this big flood of immigration coming in? What for the next election? Because they get empty hopes and promises from <laughs> Democrats over and over again. But I, you ain't black. <laughs>